Hey there guys, and my name's Hasty, and this is another one of them little update videos where most of you aren't going to care, but I'm going to tell you anyway. So, in my last update video I put up, I told everyone about the recent changes that I had with Fried Gold. Now, Fried Gold is the group that I started with a couple of buddies, and we've kept it going a long time. We've had a Daisy server going, it's been great. We have one of the, the most popular public 30 slot servers in Europe it's always full stuff like that and it's it's been awesome but we decided to expand our horizons and start an arc server and a daisy overpock server on armor 2 now we weren't sure how that was going to go and we was kind of skeptical about it but we did it anyway and it was great it was working i mean the arc server was full all of the time but i'm not going to lie over the time of being with fried gold and stuff like that we have amassed some enemies some people wanted to join us and we wouldn't allow them to we've had to remove people from fried gold that just didn't have the right gaming attitude and stuff like that so we we have run in to to roadblocks and stuff like that and we have made enemies over the time now when i released the update video with the arc server and the daisy overpock server and all the info and stuff like that since that moment, we got constant DDoSs. Not only on the ARC server and the Overpock server, but it started to affect our DayZ server and then our TeamSpeak as well. Just constant, constant DDoS attacks. We, it's been so hard to even try and keep the servers up and try and keep on top of them. So we kind of realized it was only since we started an ARC server. I don't know if it was someone felt that we were stepping on their ground or they felt a little bit threatened by the server that we were running and it was always full and we'd only just showed up to the game late and our server was popular as hell. So I'm not sure if it was something like that and someone didn't like that. So we decided that it's best if we step back from arc we we don't run an arc server we we don't do the daisy overpock server and we just stick to what we know and we we will carry on sticking to what we know with the daisy server and maybe over time we will extend that i know we're in talks of maybe changing the slots or maybe opening a private hive on top of our public hive as well just gonna see what happens we're gonna we're gonna talk about it that sort of thing but other than that, yeah, we, we just don't want to get into other servers. It it seems long-winded for us. If we're going to get constant DDoS attacks, yes, there is a certain level of DDoS protection that you get with a server and that sort of thing. But it, it was just constant. There was nothing we could do. That even with DDoS protection, it wasn't helping. So we decided that we switched off the box and we won't be running an arc server anymore i'm really sorry for the people that did come out and they had a great time i know there was some people that we actually got on really well with but it's unfortunate and i'm sorry for the time that they've lost but for us to spend money for a server that isn't going to be up 90 percent of the time and there comes other issues as well with the arc with the dinosaurs dying that sort of thing so we we just decided in the long run it was better if we didn't do it but we're going to carry on with Daisy. We may expand. We don't know. We're not too sure about that. But uh, now down to videos. Videos. I know I haven't been putting out a lot of videos recently. That is mainly because I've currently been having a bit of a love-hate relationship with Daisy. Because I I'll, I'll play you guys a quick clip. Can't Sorry. see anything. Can't see anything. Oh, I've got a fucking glitch. Just concentrating on this girl. Are they in the new school or the old school? <laughs> Hacks, wow. Hacks, get out, get out, no, leave. No, leave, 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 leave. Yeah, so it's been like that most of the time. And it, it, it's soul destroying when you see your favourite game being played like that with hackers just completely carpet bombing all of Electro Hill. You can't get anything done. There's no 
fun recording that can be had with that unless you kill a hacker and all the hacked in m4s and that sort of thing have been a real issue and duping and that sort of thing so me and daisy aren't getting on at the minute but there will be a daisy moments of the week video that i'm going to put up maybe tonight maybe tomorrow it'll probably go up at the same time as this update video so that'll probably be up and i have a counter strike video edited and ready to go up as well but i'm gonna leave that a little while i don't want to overload people with content um also on top of that i've been majorly busy i actually went out to walker stalker con in london it's a walking dead slash fan sort of hangout sort of thing and a lot of the cast came out and we, uh, me and connor that you know from some of the videos we actually went and volunteered convy was supposed to as well but she had some issues with some baby kittens and she couldn't make it out so we went out there and we volunteered for the weekend and it was so so awesome we met some awesome people we met the cast said hello things like that and they were so cool they were really friendly they weren't they don't come across as actors if you know what i mean it is just a normal thing like saying hey to greg nicotero and just being like man i love your stuff it's it's awesome met sort of michael cudlitz that sort of thing and um the guy that plays eugene i forget his name actually which is really bad of me i should i should know his name i'm a massive fan of the Walking dead but he we were working on the line of gus fring and we were doing line control for him that was awesome he's a great guy got talking to him but we was working on the line and the guy who plays eugene actually walked past and there was two ladies standing next to me right at the back of the queue and he actually came up and said hey and he was saying how adorable they were because they were a little bit short it was awesome but awesome time i'll show you guys some photos up in the video now most likely but yeah so that's where i've kind of been at for this month and that's about it for the update I'm going to try and get some more videos out as soon as possible. I've got some edited. They'll go up. But other than that, keep an eye on Fried Gold. If, if you, I'd say just get, just keep an eye out on the Twitter, that sort of thing. If I'm going to put a new server up on another game, I will let everyone know if I can. If it's going to come down to I don't want to put this server up there and out there so people can DDoS it. Just as you load up to you next favorite game, whether it be sort of something like Rust or something like that, just just do a little search of Fry Gold Gaming, see if we're there. If we're not, oh but oh well. But if we are, you know that that's going to be a server where there's going to be some cool people in there, and the admins are going to be sweet as a nut. So thanks guys for watching. I know some of you don't want to be watching a fucking update video from me. You guys don't want to hear about my fucking shit that I've got going on. But for those people who do care and care about fried gold, there you go. But I'll talk to you guys later. And I'll talk to you all, I guess, in a bizzle.